I thought growing up I was going to play for Cleveland. That, you know, I had the posters. And I would just sit there. I used to sleep with my bat next to me. And I'd wake up and I would just swing, do dry swings in my living room at, you know, 2 a.m. and then go back to bed. Well, I was 13 when I was first told I should quit because I'm a girl. And I just came from playing shortstop. So it didn't make any sense to me. But that was the uphill battle. You know, even my first high school, I asked if I could play baseball and they said no. But I really wanted to play college baseball. So I, I went to the school, they have no cut policy. I play fall ball with the guys before the coach even gets involved, you know, and I pitched and I did fine. And then when I tried out a week or so later, the coach cut me and he said um, that they didn't have enough uniforms, right? The whole idea is like to get me to quit, which of course is never gonna happen. And while I was coaching college, um, I had the opportunity to meet Mike Beck, who then helped me become the first coach in pro baseball with the Brockton Rocks. And I always knew, I always knew that I was the one who was going to bang my head against the wall and put the crack in, and it was the women behind me that would come through. Now there's over a dozen women coaching baseball, and it's phenomenal, and that was exactly the goal. When girls play together, is magical, because they're so used to being the only girl. Now they can look to the right, to the left, and see someone who looks just like them. And they can, in baseball for all, not just see someone to the right and left of them, they can look up and they can see someone older still playing. Girls are staying in the game longer because they now have a community. And in a small way, Baseball for All has gone ahead and, and lead the girls' baseball movement. I just believe in letting kids be who they want to be, and they can grow up, and they can grow up outside the box and then become these wonderful people and these leaders that help make our world better. And it might start with a baseball game, but to me, it's the change that the world needs.